Tonight on what voters can expect, she kicks off our coverage tonight. The turnout for early voting in Yuma has far surpassed past elections. As a result, the city has rented a facility to help accommodate the increase of voters and let their voices be heard. Over 700 people in Yuma County so far participated in early voting. Voting is uh, one of the greatest rights that any individual in this country has and we encourage everyone to vote. For Yuma County, it has an experience and in-person early voting turnout as it has this year. We saw the line. We realized that far more people, as a matter of fact, I believe uh, the 700 outpaces the entire last election cycle. Locals are fired up this time around. It's very important that um, people express their views instead of sitting at home and whining about it. Voice their values, voice their fears, voice what they're grand you're leaving to your grandkids. I've got a grandson and a granddaughter, and I don't want them growing up in a world like this. I think it's my obligation as a citizen, because our country's in trouble. And I think by voting, we can rectify that. Right next to the Yuma County Recorder's office in downtown now sits the new early voting facility that opened Tuesday. We want to make the voting experience very easy for people. The idea was just to you know, create an expanded space. The space will be open for early voting Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Identification is required to vote. Early voting in Arizona runs through October 30th when the facility will then close its doors. Reporting in downtown, Crystal Menez, News 11. Crystal, thanks. Meanwhile, President Trump's post-COVID return to the campaign trail kicked